This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, starring your favorite video games and some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. And now, here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. Okay, thank you very much, and welcome to Starcade. Here we are backstage. Two hot players today warming up for today's big match. One of these guys is going to have an opportunity to win their very own video arcade game. So, players, are you ready? You all set? Let's go play Starcade. What an audience. That's nice to hear you clapping and yelling there. Welcome to you at home. Here we are in Starcade with our two contestants. Very special show today, so don't you go away. You're going to have a good time watching today. Your name? David Stern. David, how are you doing? Pretty good. Good. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, my name is David Stern. And I, <laughs> I know that. I know that, David. And I go to Lakes Junior High School in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And I'm in seventh grade, and I like playing trumpet and doing magic. Good. Well, welcome, David. We wish you good luck. Let's meet your opponent right now. Your name is? Spencer Pond. Spencer, you buy your shirt where David bought his? Probably. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, right now I'm a junior at San Francisco State University with mm -hmm. a major in business administration and finance. Uh-huh, and you like to play video games? Oh, yeah. What do you want to be uh, later when you get out in the world? Uh, probably a bank president. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, then I'll borrow some money from you. Okay, guys. As you know, our contestants are matched up based on their ability in playing today's games. And one of you two is going to have a chance to win this fabulous video arcade game. Today it is Pole Position 2. <laughs> Boy, would that be fun to take home. You two guys shake hands. Shake hands. Shake hands, David. That's it. <laughs> Head over towards the podium. And Kevin is going to tell us what's so special about today's show, Kev. Jeff, it is a special show indeed. Only two hey games there, today. Pole position two. Out, a driving experience on four tracks. Are. And... TX1, the most awesome racing All adventure ever. Do Jeff. Oh, boy, wait a One of you guys is going to get a chance to get in that TX1. Way. That is wait, really so something. Now, pole position two. That's today's game. All of them are pole position two. Both of you, of course, had a chance to play it before today's show. Now, there's four game tracks on pole position two. Four race tracks you can race around. And one of those tracks is a mystery track. So if you pick it in the first three times, a valuable prize will automatically Some of the Starcade staff stays at the beautiful Pacific Plaza Hotel, a small Grand Lux Hotel in the European tradition, one block from Union Square in San Francisco. The Starcade audience travels by way of Trailways Bus Line. No bus, plane, or train gets you there cheaper than Trailways. Go Big Red, go Trailways. the question gets to pick the track. The runner-up finalist on today's Starcade invitation is receiving Donkey Kong 3 is the home video arcade system with effects just like in the arcade. No, it's Your still. vision is our vision, ColecoVision from Coleco. So and for the grand you prize get winner, RB5X. You get the first it's track the that we're going to race on here in pole position two. Which track do you think it's going Which track do you think it's going to move under its own power? You can talk and even touch the paper. Boy, did you say the magic word? And now we got the Star Cave with Jeff Edwards. Okay, Kevin. It's Pac-Man. Tim, if you want to Pac-Man, then a Ms. Pac-Man watch and clock. Knowing time was never so much fun. Furnished by Axon. Okay. Now, for those of you who haven't seen Paul Position 2, you well, stay tuned. You may have another chance to again today. We'll find out. Ron, how about you? What happened to you? you and I get on it. Gentlemen, to your racing you didn't even machine. Come close, the race of a lifetime is about to begin. Sounds like you were kidding me. All right. There's still one more game to be played in the total the points scored in both the games. We'll determine who goes on to play for the championship. Track. So if you're both ready, David get your hands on the buzzer and we'll look at the names of the game board. What is this game? Do me a favor. Damn. When you get out there in the track, will you run no, Kevin over? No, sorry. That's food <laughs> fight. All right, yeah, David. Now you've come all the way to the show, but that's food fight. So, Ron, that means you have the advantage now. You don't crack. And you get to pick the game we're going to play. What's it going to be? All four of your tires going in the air. You'll know you made a serious mistake. Max Scan is a game. Okay, that's interesting. It's a Fuji track. You might want to listen to this cue scratch of that same hairpin turn. You're the free commander of the Fuji track. 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 You're the free Lead the squad okay, wish you good luck, David. Swarming. To avoid incoming fire, yeah, 50 you score hits with lasers and missiles. Ready? You're on an awesome Set. journey oh, roaring to an unfriendly galaxy. Oh, Ronnie, 
Tim has a total of 12,450. And Rhonda, you ended up with 10,220. Tim, you're the one. That means Tim will have a chance to play the winner of our other match, the fabulous RB5X robot. And Rhonda, I have to say goodbye to you. Been nice meeting you, but you don't look like you're in because Tim has a nice day. It's a collector's library of records from the company that brings all the great recordings together in this grand collection. From the country sounds to the top 40 hits, they're all together from KTEL, the music leader. Okay, and Tim, congratulations you. to you. We'll be back with you in just a little bit, but right now we're going to take a break and meet our next two champions right after these words. What? The movie, The Maze. Yeah? I haven't. What's it about? Everyone down on the ground! Hey! I remember this place! Uh, you remember it because we passed it ten minutes ago! <laughs> yeah! Oh, hey! A transparent party cup! Oh, what a conveniently placed plot device. People could get lost in here. Not me, though. I've seen The Maze. Terrible movie. Ugh, we've been in here so long. Guys, this way. I think I found the middle. the others. Show me the picture. What? The picture of Jason. I knew it! Jason isn't the fugitive. He is! Ah, let me out. I'll cut you. I will. I'll stab you right up. We found him trapped in here. Ha! Looks like you're going straight to prison. Sorry about the mishap. 
You're all free to go. But, but Jason killed your partner. Eh, yeah. everybody gets one. Woohoo! I'm free! <laughs> so, how do we get out of here? Have any of you seen the maze? Well, I guess that wraps everything up. It does? What about the random rooms we had to go through? What were those broccoli things? Why was there a maze? And most importantly, what do we do with him? Chips!